Now, in order to make a fake background, you may need a window. For example, I'm going to make a window over here with a different tool, the 2D Shape Editor. You click on it, and there you have it, a new window. Um, <clears throat> these are the polygons, like you can move like this, like this, add points, and you know you can make a new shapes like this. For example, you go to extruded shape, you click on it, you say OK, for example, and you have the shape that you created over here. Then you just need to rotate it, for example, and that, but that's not the point. I'm going to make a window. So, um, you just click on this one in order to make this one uh, um, editable. You go to the Bezinger segment, click on it, and you'll notice that there's two new dots in blue. You click on one, elevates over here, click on the other, and elevate over here. You see? It has a better look as a window. I need to resize it a little. Over here. There we go. Let's go down. Okay. Now you next to the shape, you click OK. Now you have your window. All you need to do is rotate. Um, rotate again. Resize. Put it in your position of your enjoyment. And subtract. Um, this is going to be a little hard. You select every single part you align as well. Okay. It's going to be where you'll see the fake background. Surface, texture, line. Okay. Um, and now, in order to make a fake background, you must make a new room outside the map, always. Like this. Make a new cube. Well, bigger. Okay. You subtract it. You change the textures. Like this. You go to the texture browser, um, Gen Fluids, and you'll have the sky. Imagine like this, just stars. You go to the actor, actor browser. Actor, Info, Zone Info, Sky Zone Info. You right click on it, and there you have it. The fake background. It's just like adding a water and left zone. Now, in order to create a background, you just need to select those textures that you wanted to put them as the fake background. Make sure everything is selected. You right click, surface properties, fake background. Wait. Fake background. You have it. Now imagine you want to make like a grass over here in order to look a little more um, original. Generate um, round grass. Um, I imagine you want to put some trees. Um, you go to the actor browser. You go to actor. Decoration. Decoration, you have a lot of stuff you can put on your map. Like plants, trees, like three, four, blah, eight, three, five. Some trees don't show up because they're too big for the map. 
you have a tree, another tree. So now that you have this one, go over here and you can see the trees. Of course they're really big. Then this map is out of proportions, I bet. Um I can remove one if you want. Now um if you're going to build all you'll notice that you can see nothing because it's dark. You'll need to add lights over here. Now you can see some stuff. I'm gonna remove the tree as well. Now, um, imagine you want to make, like in Morbius, the the sky moving and the the change of colors. Um, you just need to go, you know, to the textures. For example, the top textures. Um, go to Gen Fluids sky and you have this blue sky over here just need to align it's aligned um, <clears throat> now you go to the surface properties and press blue pen and it moves down there you deselect and select V pen moves to the right you can select both of them to go to diagonal so then leave the U pen and there you have it. Simple. Now, the light, the light can be the light color can be changed on the light color. Can okay, go here and put like um, pink. Okay. Build all. You notice that the color strength isn't enough for you, so you go to light color properties, light color, and you change brightness or brightness more intensity for the color. Do you notice that the sky has changed color? Gives you a good effect. Now I go to the map and you'll see that the sky is even better now. It has its movement as you can see. Um, that's about it. Uh, oh and if you want to change the, the light properties, um, like make it flicker for example, like uh, you need to change the light bulb of something. You go light varieties, lightning, and you can see the light effect, like, um, uh, let me see one, fuck you man, um, disco for example, and then you put light type, blink, wait sorry, uh, flicker, you see? It can, all, it can also be like a, a storm effect. If you go here, you'll notice that it's going to be like this. You can change from flicker to another stuff like strobe, um, stumble. I don't know what these do. Pulse. It's like a drop ship or something. Link. Fuck you. That's enough. Okay. Oh shit. Um, <clears throat> that's just about it. Um, next I'm going to show you how to make movers.